Good Saturday night. Uh, meteorologist Doug Hitting. I want to update you on our next storm system and then heading into Sunday as well. We uh, had a fantastic day today all the way up to 70 degrees, but our next storm system is rolling in. This is our, uh, in my pattern, this would be our October 3rd, October 4th wave that we had roll through. It's diving a little bit farther south this time, obviously, because the jet stream is stronger. So it's doing exactly what it is supposed to do, and it shouldn't track all the way uh, toward us. It should stay to our north, and that is what it is going to do. So you can see the cycle length if you do the math today is, uh, what, 24th? Saturday? Gosh, yeah, Saturday the 24th. So this is our October 3rd, October 4th wave, and each wave that we had in October will continue to repeat as we will really head through about the next nine months or so. Let me show you what's going on. Here's our storm system developing. Look at all the heavy snow, the rain across southern parts of Nebraska, northern parts of Kansas. You can see a little twist right across northeastern parts of Colorado. That is the main upper level system. It's very... Uh, Oh, well, we really got to watch where it tracks. It's definitely going to track north of us, so all the heavy snow stays north of us. But we could see some light snow showers. I think the biggest thing with this system is going to be the much cooler temperatures working in. Look at tomorrow morning. Look at the band of snow developing central Kansas up through parts of Nebraska and Iowa and then rolls through Kansas City. But we get on the southern tail where we should see some snow showers working through, especially during the afternoon. So let's break this down. I still think temperatures are going to stay mainly into the 50s most of the night. Then our cold front's going to roll in early tomorrow morning. You can see the south winds here. Look at the north winds back here. And then our temperatures tumble throughout the day. Here's 1030 in the morning. On the Kansas side, we start to see a rain-snow mix, especially our northern counties. Yates Center, Fredonia, Neodoshe, Chanute, Iola, Fort Scott, Nevada. Those are going to be the areas that see the more persistent snow. As the colder air works in, here's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to see this calm ahead developing, so it's going to kind of pivot around the storm system. We're going to be on the very south side and the very back side. So any snow is going to be brief. It's going to be light, mainly along and north of I-44. South of I-44, I do not really expect anything, maybe a few flurries. North of I-44, we're going to have those light snow showers. And then quickly exits, I think 5, 30, 6 o'clock, most of this is going to be out of here. And then the much colder temperatures work in. Now, accumulations, because we are on the back side, the south side, are going to be very, very low. Um, I would say most of us are dusting, maybe a quarter of an inch. I do think it could be a little bit higher. Yates Center, Iola, Chanute, Fort Scott, Nevada, Stockton. Those areas could get a half an inch to an inch of snow. But if the system shifts just a hair farther south, 25, 50 miles, then our northern counties will be higher amounts. So we're going to watch that as we work into the daytime hours tomorrow. 53 dropping tomorrow, 21 tomorrow night, and then cool through most of next week, some rain on Thursday, and then our next system Saturday, and then into the following week. We have actually three systems that we got to keep our eyes on as uh, that's a very active period that we saw back in the pattern around August or October 10th. Of course, I'll keep you updated on that. You can get my long-range forecast below this video. Have a great night. Have a great Sunday.